Welcome back to Real Florida Magazine. Chris, as the political season uh, starts to warm up a little bit, uh, the rumor has it that you will again be making a bid for Washington County Sheriff. Any truth to that rumor? That is true. I'm taking the steps and, and doing what I feel is necessary at this point to, to kind of go head in that direction. So uh, hopefully it'll all work out. Uh, you know, we, we, we made a really good showing last time, had a lot of good support, and, and, and I want to thank those folks that did support me, and, and maybe this time uh, with a little more time to, to work on that, uh, prior to the election, maybe we'll get some more people on board and, and, it, and it, maybe we can make it happen this time. Yeah, I was going to mention that, you know, you got a lot of horsepower last time and uh, to not follow up on that would be a shame because, as you, as you point out, you've made a good showing. Um, interestingly, uh, we've got a, a very large push, uh, people going from the Democratic to the Republican Party here in Washington County. Yes, we do. I think they're within 100 or 110 people at, as of today. Uh, of uh, as many Republicans as Democrats, which is um, which is definitely different from what the past was. At one time, if you weren't sure. a Democrat, you couldn't vote in the primary That's election. True. But we're seeing more and more of that swing toward the conservative, especially fiscally conservative. Um, what do you? What's your take on the the national political scene? I, I think I've become disenfranchised with both uh, political parties at this point, frankly. Well, you you got to wonder sometimes what the Republican Party is thinking. Um, you would you would think that they would take and grasp a hold and, and keep our conservative values that we've all uh, loved. You know, years ago, uh, you know, when, when my parents were younger, the Democratic Party was also conservative and, and they seems like both parties are, 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 are leaning away and trying to get as far away from our conservative values as they can, which is, uh, you know, it's disheartening because, uh, you know, our country was founded on on um, biblical principles and, and, and conservative ideas, and, and it seems like we're going in the wrong direction. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe through this election, the national election, that uh, things will turn around and, and those who have a voice will step up and, 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 and be leaders and, and, and try and help lead our country back into the direction it needs to go. So. Unfortunately, in the time in which we find ourselves, a lot of single family homes uh, many uh, families that have both parents working sometimes two jobs, it's tougher and tougher for them to be engaged in that political process, even to the point where they sometimes can't justify going out and voting. But at the end of the day, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Feel a little bit of a wild card with Donald Trump throwing his hat in the ring right now. Uh, I, for one, like the refreshing attitude. Uh, don't know if he's electable necessarily, but uh, I know that if he's catching all the flack that he is from the Republican Party, then he must be saying some of the right things. He is, I'm, and, he, and he's stepping on a lot of toes. Uh, I, I, I'm like you. I, I enjoy the, 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 some of his thoughts and the way he's throwing them out there. Uh, he's, 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 he's opening a lot of eyes, and, and he's making people step up to the plate who normally wouldn't step up to the plate and 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 kind of go along with his ideas maybe not quite as flamboyant as he is but they are uh, they're realizing that if they want to become the the leader of the Republican Party they need to start grasping and, and, and holding on to some of these same ideas that he has but maybe not quite as as, as as like I said flamboyant as he is but uh, um, there there needs to be something uh, somebody needs to step up to the plate and and and, and grasp the ideas that we've had for years and years. So. Well, for some reason or another, we have allowed political correctness um, to, to, to rule the day. Um, whether it's the manger scene at City Hall, which I'm the first one to admit, it's probably not constitutional, but you have to remember who your audience is. And when you're in a Bible Belt like we are, a Bible-believing people, sure. uh, good people, uh, the Freedom From Religion organization, just like PETA and some of the other fringe groups, um, don't have much of a, of a healthy audience here. And unfortunately, they are the ones who get to get that pendulum swinging their way. So don't know what the answer is, but it's very frustrating. It is frustrating. We, uh, we as conservatives tend to uh, hold back our, our, our thoughts or our uh, ideas in, in the idea of trying to be politically correct. Um, and a lot of times those who, uh, as you said, PETA and, and some of the other organizations who are more liberal, they don't mind stepping out and making the statements that, that tend to uh, you know, infuriate a lot of people, but they don't seem to be concerned about that. And uh, 
uh, we as conservatives and, and uh, we tend to just uh, take it all in and at the coffee table we'll talk about it and discuss it and get mad about it but we won't step out and, and be as quiet as, as vocal as they are. So. Well, they say right now it's verging upon 50% of the United States population getting a check every month. Huge number of them getting Social Security, retirement benefits, and so forth. Certainly justified, but there are a lot of people which make up that voting block which continue to promulgate uh, and to even exacerbate the problem we find ourselves in with all of the giveaways and the freebies, which at the end of the day we pay. Mm -hmm. Interesting note, in Washington County, Florida, about 30% of people are paying uh, property taxes. Uh, because the, the rest of them either fall under homestead exemption or simply don't own property. Right. That's the money from which we, we, we provide our educational opportunities. Uh, therefore, the state has to come in and make up that difference. I think right now they pay some 90% of our educational expenses. So that doesn't give us a voice in that process. We can't complain when we don't go along with those educational processes. But from, the, from, from whatever subject you want to talk about, we're on a down, downward spiral. spiral. I know you're a spiritual man yourself. Um, what's, what's the answer? Is the pendulum swung too far? Is there something that we can do going forward? What's your personal feelings on that? Well, I, I don't think we've gone too far. I, I think there's, uh, there's, gonna be huge, there's gonna be a huge awakening one day. We're gonna get to the point where we, those people who have been quiet for years and years and have just kind of went with the flow, they're gonna say, okay, this is enough. And, and there's gonna be a huge, uh, uh, I don't I'd say revival, awakening, just whatever you want to say, uh, that as conservative, as, as you know, Bible-believing uh, individuals, we're going to say enough is enough, and we're going to step up, and uh, hopefully sooner than later. Well, as a long-time, almost lifelong law enforcement officer yourself, you certainly don't advocate or condone civil disobedience necessarily, but it was civil disobedience which made us a country, which forged us sure. into a country, which allowed us to separate ourselves from that governing power which used to be uh, ours and formed uh, the country that we enjoy to a great extent still today. Right. I will still say it's the best country in the world and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. It is. But um, as, a, as a parent and a grandparent, it's just, just as you are, uh, we see the need to, at some point or another, uh, be able to make changes. As a potential uh, constitutional officer in Washington County, hopefully you'll be able to accomplish some of that uh, if you're successful. Thanks very much for uh, acceding to our questions and letting okay. people know a little bit about them. Well, thank you. I enjoyed it. Here right now with Chris Ellis. We'll be right back.